The origins of the Border Collie can be tracked back to Scotland, where it was first bred and great success was achieved in the area near the borders of Scotland and England. The term Collie derives from a Scottish word that refers to sheepdogs. Given the breed's strong presence in the border region, it was named the Border Collie. They belonged to the herding group as they were originally bred to herd and control livestock, such as sheep and even sometimes geese. Before we start grooming, it is important to do a pre-grooming inspection. Hi guys! Today I'm going to teach you how to groom a Border Collie according to breed specific standards, step by step. This is Ohana. She is a three-year-old Border Collie. She has a combination coat. Like most people would say, Border Collies, they are double coated, which is completely true. They have an undercoat and an outer coat, which we also call a guard coat. So before we start the grooming process, what do we have to do? You need to do a pre-grooming inspection to see what grooming needs to be done her skin condition, her overall condition, and to make sure she has no injuries or pain in her joints. So first we look at her eyes, her eyes are nice and bright and shiny, there is no, she doesn't have an eye infection because she doesn't have excessive eye debris, so that's a good sign. We have a look at her teeth, her teeth are in a very good condition, but we are going to brush them as it includes part of the grooming process. We inspect the ears, the ears are actually very clean but we will still clean the ears as part of the grooming process and we have a look at her joints, wonderful, apply a little bit of pressure, that everything looks in order and we have a look at her nails, the nails definitely needs clipping, nail clipping needs to be done every four to six weeks to ensure good maintenance and it's kept short. I'm just going to use my comb to separate the coat to get a clearer view of the skin, to identify any skin issues, ectoparasites, as well as if the, there is any mats, any debris that I need to remove before bathing. Also remember, Feel the anal glands if they are full and needs extracting. Please remember, if a dog does not have any anal gland issues, do not express the anal glands unnecessary, as this may cause further or even create problems. So that is just my advice. All groomers find different tasks as pre-work duties. So let us discuss these duties. So when grooming your border collie, you need to remove the excess undercoat. So, how do we do that precisely? We have a few tools that we can use to remove the undercoat. Namely, we have the undercoat rake, we have a de-shedding tool, we can also use a blunt number 40 blade. Remember, very important, a blunt number 40 blade. Okay, so first off, we're going to start in this video by removing her excess undercoat. And I'm going with my choice of tool today is a undercoat break. When this tool is not used correctly, the teeth on the rake can injure the dog's skin. So remember, light pressure and do not rake too many times over one area consecutively. Keep your wrists nice and tight, do not bend it, it's just a stroking motion. I start with the back section first, then I will move to my hind section and then the chest lastly. Remember have your steps in place to ensure that you do not miss a spot. To create a smooth top line, you can use your carding tools or a blunt number 40 blade and just slightly 
drag it over the back. Remember, do not apply too much pressure, otherwise you will scratch and damage the skin. Line brushing is a technique popularly used on longer head beds. It is an effective way to work the coat down to the skin. Hold or push up the coat with one hand and with a slicker brush or comb work the seam line by pulling down a small amount of fur with each stroke. I would suggest starting from the lower section of the dog and working your way upwards. Do not move to the next section before your brush can move through the coat smoothly and the seam line of the skin can be seen. Before moving on you can use your comb to check that the coat is properly untangled. After you have removed the excess undercoat, we are going to apply line brushing to ensure that everything is brushed out in the coat. By doing line brushing, take, we normally start from the bottom and move our way to the top. You can either use your coat or just your hand to push it up and start brushing downwards. With each time you brush, you're taking, releasing the top hair so that it falls down. And you can take another section, brush down. With every stroke, you are brushing the top layer downwards. I am using my slicker brush to apply this method. Back brushing can also be applied to remove the debris or any knots or tangles. To remove the loose dead hair, another tip what you can do is to use your high velocity dryer just to blow over the coat to remove the loosened dead hair, debris and so on.